Hey, this is Cakes and Shakes, and I am here uh, getting ready to offer. I'm here with Candy Corn, my neon fat dragon, getting ready to offer for a mega frost dragon. So this guy's got a mega frost dragon, and it seems like he wants my mega owl. And so I am gonna see if I can trade a mega owl with some ads for a mega frost dragon. So this is a super exciting trade here. All right, mega owl for mega frost dragon. I am adding my uh, blazing lion and a neon fly ride phoenix to this trade. So a frost dragon's worth about 9.3 frosts. A owl is worth about 8.2. And so I'm effectively valuing my blazing lion at a at a at a frost dragon. That is a huge loss for, for me. So what I traded for the blazing lion was a frost, a mega um, a mega kangaroo and a mega chicken. So I was like over two frosts, but it just goes to show you, it's like two weeks later and the value of the blazing lions has literally dropped in half. So here we go. I am gonna get another mega frost dragon for my mega owl, blazing lion and neon fly ride Phoenix. Here we go. All right, here we go, yes. So I got another mega frost dragon. As you saw folks for, let's go back, let's look at my journal real quick. Uh, trading toys, go down here, my trading journal. Equip this bad boy. So here's my trade history. View this. So, as I was saying, an owl is worth about 8.2 on the frost value scale. A blazing lion right now is worth less than an owl. So, I paid a frost, a mega chicken, and a uh, mega uh, mega kangaroo for this blazing lion. So, I my value was more than two frosts it's now worth about an owl. So it just goes to show you, even the super rare pets, they decline in value. So if you are trying to get rich, do not do what I did, which is trade a bunch of stuff to get them on the first or second day because they decline in value and you will lose. Now, it's a good lesson though, if you do get these pets, trade them right away and it'll make you richer. But if you are looking to not lose value, get rid of them right away. If you just like the pet, then great. But just understand that it'll be worth uh, less as more of them are in the game. And then a Neon Phoenix is worth about 0.1. So I offered uh, 8.3, 8.2 for the Owl, 8.1 for the Phoenix, and then basically a Frost for the Blazing Lion. I feel like this was a good trade just because I know the Blazing Lions are uh, like, it's really hard to even get a frost for them now. So this for me was a really good trade. I at least got a frost value for this when people are trading these for like owls or less or two neon turtles and stuff. So the value has dropped precipitously. Uh, so I feel like this is a really good trade. Got another Mega Frost Dragon. Uh, and I am going to, uh, you know, now I am without a Mega Owl, but I will have to trade for another one. <laughs> so that's the fun of Adopt Yagging. Go trade for another uh, Mega Owl. So now we're going to close this. Um, now I've got, like, we I have two Mega Frosts. So I've never actually had two in my inventory. So I got one here, and then I of course have Silver Mist uh, that I had before. So I have two Mega Frosts uh, in my inventory now. So for me, I was able to get a Frost Dragon value for the Blazing Lion, even though it's worth less than that today. So I think it was a good trade. I definitely lost a lot of value though on uh, on the Blazing Lion. I literally lost a Mega Kangaroo on that thing. 
So let that be a lesson to you. The next time a new good pet comes out, unless you just really like it, it's going to decline as more and more and more and more of those pets uh, get in the game. So hopefully this is helpful to you guys. I will see everybody real soon. Love trading for amazing pets like a mega frost dragon. So, so cool. I'm so excited to have another one of these things. And I will see you guys all real soon. Bye.